words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O God, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. The Mabinogion is a collection of Welsh legends, some of the earliest European literature that is recorded and written down. Of course, it is written in Welsh, not in English, and so there is not much point in me trying to recite one of the legends for you this morning, other than to give you a vague English translation. An army is trying to invade Northern Ireland from the Welsh coast, and they can't reach across the sea. And so their leader, their chief captain, their king, their prince, who is a giant, stretches out, stands on the seashore of North Wales, stretches out his arms and reaches towards the seashore of Northern Ireland. And the army are then able to climb across his back and stretch as he stretches across the sea, invade Northern Ireland. The motto is Avor Bid Ben Bid Bont, which says very concisely in Welsh, whosoever would be the leader, the chief, the king, will also be the bridge. Whoever would be the leader must also be the bridge. It's a telling reminder in St. Mark's Gospel this morning that Christ asks a few chapters earlier of the man who is born blind, what would you have me do for you? And his response is quite simply, I would see Jesus. But in this chapter that we've heard this morning, when Christ asks the same question of the disciples, what would you have me do for you? The reply of James and John is, grant us to have preeminence in this new kingdom that you have been telling us all about. The other disciples, the ten, begin to be indignant. Well, you can say that again. After all, it was only last week that they reminded us all that they had left everything to follow Christ. They have left material things behind, but they have yet to lay down their vanity, apparently. Fantasies of greatness also need to be relinquished. I am painfully aware, as someone with titles, qualifications, and letters after my name, that I also try to keep in mind always that saying that I think originated not from Wales, but from Denmark that the higher up the ladder the monkey climbs, the more of its bottom you see. The higher up the ladder the monkey climbs, the more of the monkey's bottom you see. The Christian faith and our articulation as Anglo-Catholic Episcopalians should always and everywhere at all times try and struggle with questions of faith and see God at work, the sacred, 
the divine in the most unlikely of places or people or situation, situations. That takes patience, attentive curiosity, open-mindedness and generous-hearted courtesy, a word that we hear far too little of these days. Generous-hearted courtesy. And so it is that a reading from Isaiah with which we are so familiar from Handel's Messiah, that portion of the suffering servant comes alive again and is real and moving and penetrating, but only to those who listen, only to those who have the acuity to hear the divine lineaments at work beneath the surface of the text. Whoever would be the leader must also be the bridge. In the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen.